Hello everybody, what is going on? This is Matt Belair and in this video I wanted to discuss the Native American panel that is coming up tomorrow. I am very excited about this. Each of these individuals has so much knowledge and information and it's been a real treat to learn from all of these people separately and we're going to bring them all together to have a discussion for them to talk amongst themselves. And they are really, truly extraordinary people. And so I wanted to, to discuss this panel, the people that are going to be on the panel, and also some of the things that I've learned from them so far. So the first guest is going to be Carlos Barrios. He is a Mayan Aiki elder who originates from and resides in Guatemala. He was the coordinator of the spiritual reserves of humanity for the century for Central America and the coordinator of the Water Project for Central America for UNESCO. He has been given the mission by his elders to share the prophecies and teachings of the Maya people with the rest of the world. He is an expert in the sacred Maya calendar, member of the Council of Elders and organizer of the first gathering of native elders of the American continent in 1995. Brian Francis, is of El Sabuktuk First Nation in New Brunswick and is currently involved in filmmaking as a producer, director, and writer. His major concern is the survival of the Mi'kmaq and Maliseet people and the preservation of their culture. For some years, he managed the Aboriginal recording artist Eagle Feather. Most recently, he, he worked on the development and production of the APTN series Eastern Tide and more recently, Wabanagig. Sorry, Brian, if I didn't pronounce that right. Um, he has also been doing some incredible research. Brian is a researcher and has a lot of information. He's also recently um, in the parliament of the House of Commons in Canada as the only Megama interpreter there. So uh, Brian's doing a lot of good work. We also have Clifford Mahudi, who is a Zuni elder, member of the tribal orders of the Kachina Priesthood, Galaxy Medicine Society, Sun Clan, and Wisdom Keeper of the Zuni History and Spiritual Practices. He is a retired civil environmental engineer who worked for Shell Oil Company and various U.S. government programs for housing, planning, design, and construction of Indian reservation infrastructure and school projects. And last but not least, Least, we have David Lombert Senapas. He is an engineer, scientist, mathematician, and translator of the ancient copper scrolls and star teachings. David trained extensively from birth by over 600 tribal elders from around the world for the first 26 years of his life. These teachings included history, traditional teachings, math, physics, biology, chemistry, and more. All of these individuals have been on the podcast before. All of them have shared some of their history. It is very, very fascinating, and I have learned a lot. I got to spend some time with David in Maine two summers ago. I was in Guatemala, and I was learning from Carlos Barrios there at the Mayan fire ceremony. I've interviewed Brian Francis and have had discussions with Brian, and he's so knowledgeable and still continues to do research and shares a, you know, only a fraction of what he knows. And as well, Clifford Mahudi, I've spent time with Clifford, had him on the podcast a few times, and uh, really fascinating individual. So some of the things I think the most important important lesson that I've learned, I get a lot of questions about ancient history, what I've learned from studying with indigenous leaders, indigenous elders, and I only know a little bit of a little bit. And one of the most important things that I've learned so far from these elders is that spirituality, as Clifford puts it, is, is simple, but it requires action. And when I was in um, Guatemala learning from Carlos Barrios and some of the other Mayan elders that were there doing a fire ceremony, his main part of the talk was that spirituality now requires action, that we're moving into this time where, you know, we can have all these ideas about what it means to be spiritual, but it requires us to take action. And in the same way, when I was with David Lombert Senapas and Jacqueline Ouellette at the Parliament of World Religions in Toronto, um, I saw some of the religious leaders speak and I saw David speak. And when he was when he was speaking, he was really stressing the importance of us taking action in the world that we're in. And the other thing that I've really learned is that community is so fundamental and crucial to know your neighbors, to just have a community and, and know who your neighbors are and really emphasize that aspect of living, just this simple grounded attitude. It doesn't always have to be, you know, out of this world kind of thing. Um, but on that note, the interesting thing is that all of these gentlemen 
um, as, a, as I'm aware, have a 20,000 year history. It's oral and it's passed down. And again, I only know a little bit of a little bit. And I think that we're very lucky to have this panel and we'll see what they decide to share. The intention is to put them together um, and, and have them discuss whatever they want, whatever they feel is most important because when Brian Francis was on the show and also when I was in Nova Scotia learning more and, and doing a, a retreat that was down there, I've learned so much from Brian around um, just treaties and treaty history, the treaties between uh, the government of Canada. I don't know much about the what happened in the US, but treaty history, um, understanding that when the British came over, the I think it was Alan Knockwood who told me in um, Nova Scotia that I think the Native Americans knew five different languages at that time, which is really fascinating. And he said, he told me that they signed the first treaties in France looking through the castle or some, something along those lines, which I find very fascinating. And again, I only know a little bit of a little bit. And my hope is to get these individuals to share their history, to give them a platform because it's so important what they have to share and and the knowledge they bring. And it's not something that's commonly taught. When Brian Francis was on the podcast, he also did an incredible documentary on the school system and the public school system. And I only knew a little bit of what happened there. But when you look into the public schools and it happened in the States as well, is very terrible. And there's a reason why the connection with the Native American people is the way it is now. And what we need to do to move forward to understand their history, to understand the culture, and really our, I think in our Western world, the way that we live, there's obviously a lot of room for improvement. So I feel like their knowledge, their history, their input is so critical and important at this time. And so that's the hope for the panel. These guys are all truly amazing individuals. I am very much looking forward to it. And I hope that you guys can make it. And if you guys have any questions for them, um, send them to me via email. You can send them on Facebook. Let me know. Um, Facebook isn't always the greatest for real-time comments. I can't really see them all the time. So if you can uh, pre-send me any questions that you may have, we'll see how it goes and if I can get to any of those questions if um, it seems fitting for the conversation, but would love to hear from you and anything that you may want to learn. So hopefully we will see you tomorrow and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.